you wake up and you see that, what do you do? Go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> SR20 DET Dolomite from Down Under. <laughs> hey guys, I'm a recent subscriber, watched your 240SX Marketplace video, and have since binge watched the entire series. Hope you never stop making these. Holy f. Nice, bro. Here's a few photos of my 76 Triumph Dolomite Sprint with an SR20 DET swap. I've never had the car dynoed, but if I had to guess power, I'd say somewhere in the 300 wheel horsepower range. Love the channel, guys, and keen to watch you grow. Sent from my iPhone. It's an S. I've never even heard of it, but I love it. I don't know what the fuck well, this is, but the, I love it. The name it. alone is sick. Dolomite? The car is so small, I don't know, I don't know how the dude fits his dick in there. <laughs> He's got to stick his head out the window, that's for sure. He says it weighs 2,200 pounds. Oh my god, this thing's got to be a fucking blast. Yeah. Yo, if this is, if you're watching this video, like, comment and let us know how sweet this is to drive. Yeah, yeah this is a video of this we'll, thing. We'll give you a super chat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> S tier. Yeah, this, this is, is awesome. awesome. This is awesome. This is maybe the only thing out of Australia that I like. All right, next car. Rate my soon car from Abe. Traded no. my <laughs> box boosted Miata for this. First mod was putting it on jack stands. Yes, I'm a student. <laughs> yes, I'm using financial aid checks to fund this car. Yes, I am financially crippled. Yes, I am in the slow process of unfucking it and redoing everything correctly. Box Boy. Miata pick included. So this first picture is the car he traded. This is the car. <laughs> Did he went up. He went. He went up in the world still. <laughs> yes. Like a little sticker there. Don't ask me about my turbo setup. <laughs> ask, ask about something. Yeah. Ask about my credit score. I like that you um, put chameleon paint on the uh, front timing chain <laughs> color here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and Damian Monty. Whatever, man. It's an S13. I hope you bring it back. You definitely upgrade from whatever the fuck this <laughs> yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. It's still a piece of it's still a I, piece of shit, but at least it's not like diarrhea shit. I'm gonna yeah. give the guy a D it's just a piece of solid shit, shit. Detroit meme. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's really soon. yeah, we'll go with D for Detroit. This guy's D got a good Detroit. sense of humor. Yeah. Uh, I like you. Rate my card, dudes. Oh. Let me see if there's anything Fuck. else in here. This is from Sam. Here is my beloved Sonic yellow. yellow Bug Eye Wagon. I bought it from a longtime owner and it's completely stock except for the wheels. Only 750 wagons were made in this color for 2003 and I'm trying to keep it going as long as possible. Love the channel and the website. Sam. I, all right, listen, I don't hate yellow cars. I don't like this one. I'm the opposite. I hate yellow cars. I would drive the fuck out of this one. I hate Subarus and I really like this. Not that I wouldn't I, drive it, I just, this yellow to me looks like a faded car. The faded yellow doesn't do it for me. Yeah, you know, it kind of reminds me of, um, like, the E36 BMW yellow that's, like, really yeah. faded. Yeah. That the Kunja, faded yellow. Kunja in the Discord chat, super on RPF1s, never seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> Talk shit all you want about RPF1s, that's fine. There's a reason everyone runs them, because they're... You can't get a lighter wheel for, for less money. Preach. They're fucking great. Get over it, everybody. Based. But I wouldn't run that color on that. I wouldn't run that color wheel on that color car. No. Yeah. It doesn't. Silver it would doesn't, have looked a lot better here. Yeah, it doesn't flow, yeah. There's a lot of people that agree with that gear in all the chats. Yeah. And I would just like to say, fuck all y'all. Got the glizzy? Awesome car from Dane. <laughs> I am here to represent all those with a welded diff. It's not as bad as you think. Don't be a baby. <laughs> RB20 swap with a TDO5 <laughs> Ryan on a Hall tech. First time in almost eight years of ownership that it has no issues. Just in time for prices to go up or whatever. 420, 420, 420, 420, 420, 420. <laughs> Hello from outside Cleveland sent from my iPhone. This is sick. So it has no problems except for the welded diff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Ooh. the welded diff's fine. Ooh. I like it, man. Cancer, <laughs> ca cancer fucking exhaust, cancer wing. <laughs> cancer sticker that nice. says nice. Nice. Based sticker that says infowars.com. <laughs> okay. No. Based. Base. Base. Jesus. Free Alex. I, this is like B, maybe a C? No, it's a, it's like he had good intentions, but he didn't have the greatest taste is what it is. All right, but so think about it this way, though. Out of all the stance shit that we've seen, this is the cleanest <laughs> stance shit. If I met this guy, 100% I'd be his friend. Like if, if if I was driving my if I was driving my 240 or my Sylvia down the road and he waved at me, I'd I'd wave back. Oh hey dude, you know, for let's sure. go to Sonic and let's go to Sonic and get a Glizzy. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna oh, give yeah, this dude. a G for Glizzy. G for Glizzy. <laughs> G for, okay. Alright, G for Glizzy. 
<laughs> All right, G for Glizzy. Yeah, throw, throw, throw hot dogs in the chat for this. For the, <laughs> throw some Glizzies in the chat. 2003 Subaru Impreza WRX Blah Bye. Good day, fellas. Greetings from Australia. Here's my first Subaru I ever owned. It's currently got a blow off valve, but not for long. Some Rota wheels and a cat back exhaust of unknown brand. It's my first, quote, fast car, as I am still on my provisional license. By the way, I saw your video on the best WRX, and you're all wrong. The blah is the best. I like oh. this, man. Oh. As oh. for, oh. As for oh. knowing which one that. is the best. Cars go okay. I like it. Put in chat, blah bug eye, or Hawkeye, what's the best one? While and if it's, anything, if it's anything but Hawkeye, you guys are retarded. And it explains why this guy's retarded, because he's from Australia. bug eye. Jesus. We just, we just lost half, half of our subs with that comment. <laughs> yeah, whatever, fight me. All I gotta say is, uh, typical. Yeah, it's not a, <laughs> it's fine. It's not a bad looking yep. car. What do you, uh, rank this one? P for provisional or what? Yep. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's like a, it's cool. I like it. Cool car. Mm -hmm. I, I, it I just wish, I just wish we get rid of the reps and get like either the stock suit STI wheels or like yeah. real. Put the stock wheels on there. That'd be fine. Yeah, yeah. but otherwise, I don't know, B. Yeah, go B. 200 SX RS 13U spec with forged CADET and base Eclipse GS from Henrique. Hey guys, I've got two cars to show. A fully built Drift 200 SX and a base model Eclipse that I'm currently trying to restore. The Eclipse is all fixed up. All I need to work on is the exterior now. The 200 SX is probably what you are going to like and I'll list everything that it has now. It has a lot of things. The 200 SX currently makes 350 wheel horsepower, but I am limited by the turbo and the MAF, and he has some plans to fix that, and he wants to do a fully forged 4G63 on the Eclipse. And here they are. Okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's clapped. Nice. But okay. <laughs> that, yeah, that's yeah, that is <laughs> really clapped. He's got some plans, though, which, you know, hey, at least he derides some of the big spoilers? No, that, 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 that's the edge of the spoiler. That's the is edge it? of the stock spoiler that's gone. It's like an EU it's just tag, missing. It? Yeah. Yeah. That's EU, yeah. But yeah, spoiler, somebody took a bite out of it. <laughs> yeah, look, the 4G is a good motor to go in it, right? Like... Yeah, but at the moment, it's that's... a Primer Eclipse GS, and it's like 90% of one, <laughs> so I, I gotta go deep on that one. But, uh, yeah, yeah, 200 but... SX, alright, good. Sick. I don't hate the wheels, what little we can see of them. Yeah. It looks like you know what you're doing. To an extent, this looks nice. Sleepy oh, nice. eyes, I don't care. Yeah. Looks cool. Those aren't even sleepy eyes. That's like, that's like I'm falling asleep eyes. <laughs> it's like yeah, like I shut it off. It's eyes. Headlight flip. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't hate it. I like it. It's not. No, it's fine. I like the 200 SX a lot. I don't really care too much about the Eclipse, but if you do swap it, sick. That's awesome. Cool project. Yeah. Let us know when you get the 4G in the Eclipse. Yeah. Call us a B. All in all. Hey guys, here is my diamond in the rough Craigslist find, the mythical bone mm. stock 1994 Acura Integra GSR sedan. I purchased it from its original owner in August of 2020. It currently has 214,000 miles and is my daily driver. The previous owner maintained it really well and it came with a huge stack of records as well as the original window sticker. It had a U-Haul trailer hitch installed on it when I bought it, believe it or not. What? No big plans. Big question. Transmission. Stick. Wow. Oh, yeah. Well, it's Base. a GSR. I don't know if they made automatic GSRs either way, but they did. Oh yeah, yeah, that's an S. I love it. I love this it. This is sick. I I love. All right, first of all, I love sedan. this front end. Love this front end on the Tiggy. Love the love the color. Ma color's good. Manual's a bonus. Uh, stock wheels. But fuck it. This is this is at least an A. I give it, it the an only a. the only way the only way it would get better is if the interior was black. If it was a coupe. It, or if a we hatch. saw this in no, I think the our... sedan is cool. Sorry, I was gonna say if we saw if we saw this in any of our you know reviews of looking at all the Facebook ads, we would all be collectively nutting yeah. over how awesome this is. This have gets we, an yeah. S for me. Have we done taggies yet? We haven't. No, we haven't. We should. We should do them. No, yeah, we we'll do taggies. Lance is saying, have we done E thirty sixes? We need to do those too, especially in honor of the one that I picked up. Speaking of E thirty sixes, forward my Euro trash. Hell yeah. yeah. Lance asked. Lance asked, have y'all ever done girls? No, no. 2D only. Girls I mean, gay. kind of? No. Hey, autists, these are my two main fun cars. I have a 2000 E39 M5 with around 218,000 miles on it that's been one of me and my dad's dream cars for a while. It served me pretty well, being a pretty reliable car for doing race things and just all around fun summer beater. I also own a Volvo S60R for a daily driver and an 09 Cobalt SS that was previously my daily driver. The M3 is my track autocross car. It's a very early style build. It's a 95, so it's an 
an OBD1 car that is S52 swapped with basic bolt-ons, and it served me pretty well. Oh, they're all they're all super nice cars. This yeah. is right. All of this is good. Yes. Yeah, Track this guy's like great. There's a Zim great 5. Days. Double apex wheels. I like how you found a wheel and stuck with it. This Hell looks yeah. fucking amazing, honestly. Somebody in the chat said, Victor pits up apex wheels over RPF1s, and you know what? He's right. I would take these over RPF1s any day of the week. On a BMW, sure. On yeah, everything. on a BMW. On a BMW, I would. Oh, too far. But yeah, here's here's his M5. Beautiful. Here's his E36 and M5. Fantastic. This is awesome. I, S. It's S. Yeah, yeah. Great collection. S great for collection. German superiority. <laughs> H for German superiority? Yeah, anyways. <laughs> no, it's SS for German superiority. <laughs> oh, double S. There you go. <laughs> Congrats on 5K from Brandon. Been watching since y'all had a few hundred and knew the channel would grow fast. Please rate my daily and definitely project CRX HF. This is the uh, carbureted version that gets like insane mileage. You don't I think see it was a lot like of these. High, high fuel efficiency or something it stood for. That would make sense. I think that these got like 40 or 50 miles to the gallon. Yeah, they're S tier. S tier fucking daily. Look how clean it is. It is. A little rust on the on some bullshit, some superfluous, you know the word I'm going for there. It, but yeah. it's, a, it's a muffler, you can you fix yeah. that. Who gives but, also, shit? It's, but also it's a CRX that survived the fucking Ricer era. Also, it doesn't for even real. have quarter rust. It's a survivor. Yeah. Yeah. Go back, is that a Georgia tag? Yes. Howdy, right. neighbor. <laughs> Damn. This this is kind of sick. Like, for, for a daily driver, and it's, you know, pretty much all intact, like... No, it's awesome. I, I think I think this is basically every every Japanese car guy's dream daily is a CRX yeah. HF or a CRX SI or something like that. You know, I'd want something the SI, that, but man, like if the, no, sorry, go ahead. No, but 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 who cares? Because they both get like ridiculous gas mileage, and it's just a put around cool car that that'll run forever if you take care of it. Yeah. If you opened up Facebook Marketplace and you saw this, it would be like a really good day on Facebook Marketplace. Because yeah. they're never mm -hmm. this clean, right? Yeah. I want the rest of that with the YouTube Hell chat no. where it's yeah. S for stolen because S yeah. for survivor. <laughs> S survivor or stolen, this is S tier. Fair enough. Yeah, it's an S tier. All right, S tier a, daily. Love we it. Got, we got a favorite of the Discord coming up. <laughs> Microwave Dragon. <laughs> yes! Oh, <Yay>. yeah. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> I included my old WRX I sold so I could get my down for my GR86, his down payment. Okay. I'm Microwave Dragon on Discord, by the way. And he has I could tell. I never I, guessed. I, could, I could tell as soon as I saw the rearview mirror. It ain't for oh, me, just, dude, but I like the car, so. Oh, I just came back. This is Microwave Dragon. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Yiff guy. <laughs> <laughs> and the pictures were taken by Colby the Husky. <laughs> I'm not, they, I'm not they, googling that. I don't want to see the rest of the pictures. <laughs> He's got a GR though. Like, uh, here's his old Deborah X also. Also a blah by wagon. I like this guy. The yeah, you S. got good taste. You have good. You have good taste, which which kind of. That blue is nice on that. Uh, this is a GR86. Nice color. Yeah. yeah. Gallery 2001 IS300 sent from my iPhone by Carlos. Are those FNs on there? Yeah, those are FNs. Cool, man. That's cool. This, Sick. This is all good shit, dude. Automatic. Automatic. Auto tragic. Ooh, too bad about the automatic. This one is from Lance. He says, hey y'all, this is my 1995 E36 M3. I got it in a trade about a month ago and it's been nothing but great. It has 160,000 miles and is 100% stock besides the wheels. I'm very interested to know what you think about the car and I promise I won't ruin it. Thank you, Lance. Are those fake FNs? I think they're fake FNs. Yeah. Here's his old car that he traded for it. Sick. Which one, the E30 Damn, or the, yeah, the, 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 one the E30? E30. God, that's not even worse wheels. I would have kept the E30. Yeah, I hate that those looks wheels, nice. But... Yeah, but it's an E36 M3, though. I mean, yeah, no, 100%. I would, that would make that trade all day. No. E30 E30 is 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 going to be the car that is worth more. No, I'm with Poochie. I'd trade for the E30. I, I would get rid of that. It's not an E30 M3. Yeah, it's a 325i or some shit. Yeah. Who cares? People don't care. Nobody. That, yeah, that looks way the nicer e, than the that. The E30, the E30 is is riding on the E30 M3's coattails all Good day. One. You're telling me that that E30 is worth more than the M3 he traded it for? Yeah, I, I'd venture to say I that. Yeah. I don't believe I would, that. This one looks completely forgettable. I like the other one. You like Dude, the, as a the 17 e year old. Yeah. Yeah. No, that is that is a that solid is okay. choice. Nope. All right, let's go. Let's go to the viewers. Would you take the the E30 
or the E36. That has seen some farts. Well, besides the farts, the interior of this looks nicer. I have seen some oh. rough farts. No, other than the like fart the design limiter. and the shit. Yeah, no, the, the design, design of the, of the E38 is nicer. Cool. Next. 1972 AMC Hornet. Stephen. Tight. I That's hate it. that he spray painted Hooting in. I, yeah. so I, 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 yeah. hate, I hate the X. The X is on the headlights. I hate the Hooting in. Also, somebody wrote in the dust on the hood. They heart. Was yeah. that Stefan? I think that's the Stephon? guy's name, Stephen. Stefan. Stefan. Stefan or Kel? Stefan Hoonigan. <laughs> Only OGs remember that. I like that pile of, like, piss rags underneath it. <laughs> also <laughs> the rags leaks. on the dash. I mean, it looks pretty rough, but it's an AMC Hornet. What are you gonna do? Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah, sure, it's cool. This See, is the picture? Victor, Victor Pitstop hit the fucking nail on the head. He says, this is a 23-year-old going on 60. <laughs> Next vehicle, 90 Celica from Jack. Hey guys, Hell here's my yeah. 1992 1.6 GSI Toyota Celica, purchased for 3,000 euro back in December 2021. Five-speed manual, 230 kilometers or 142,000 miles, stock and all original. I like 5G Celicas. That's <laughs> why, why the fuck is the license plate Yowie? <laughs> <laughs> no. You know. <laughs> Come on. Base. This is the only picture he's got? Yeah, it's the uh. only picture, but he should, uh, yeah, you know. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's cool, man. I mean, it, the engine's not the best one, but if it's completely stock and you paid 3,000 euro for it, which is like five grand? Gar not yeah, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. It's cool. Scotty Kilmer approved it. Ask for Scotty. Congrats on 5K subs, Poppy, from Austin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Latin next last name. I can't... <laughs> 97 Infinity Q45 Y33. Let's go through the pictures of this beautiful Y33 Q45. Hold on. Oh. Hold oh, on. Oh, based. Based. S. Oh. S tier. S S tier. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy shit. It's beautiful. I had no idea someone, Discord. I had no idea someone this base was like listening and watching us like wow <laughs> this guy's pretty cool i'll give it an s i will go s, I yeah give it a w for weeb <laughs> i agree <laughs> i this it's this m isn't look, it it's a q45 oh it is q it's a q45 yeah those are really really cool it's it's like uh the bizarro ls400 that no one likes yes. but i think they're still cool I, yeah. I'd, I'd love to have one yeah this but, I feel, but i feel super like super cool slam down bags 100 percent yeah it would i don't even like that bag shit but it would if you like what you just watched be sure to hit like there's a third part to this user car review series coming saturday so hit subscribe as well so you don't miss it if you want us to review your car or answer your questions email us at collectorcarfeed at gmail.com if you want more content click whatever's on your screen right now and be sure to check out our patreon as well link in description collector car feed now with over 5500 subscribers